is a senior fellow at the Taihe Institute, a think tank based in Beijing, and the founder of Asia Narratives. Thank you so much for being with us on the program. So what do you make of Elon's visit to China? What kind of cooperation can we see him uh, strike with the government there? Well, uh, he, he's uh, definitely taking a break, let us say, from uh, his uh, social media duties. Um, obviously, he is concerned. I mean, there was a price war that uh, saw him slashing the prices of cars in China. They're still on the high side, uh, but he's uh, undergoing a tremendous amount of competition from BYD, which has really uh, kind of uh, captured the market. Right. And he was very warmly welcomed into the country, not to mention that he's meeting uh, the uh, various ministers there. What's behind all that? Well, it's a charm offensive. I mean, there, there's, uh, you know, Beijing cracked down on some uh, entities that they believe were uh, getting information illegally and distributed. These, uh, these were Bain and some other ones. And uh, they decided that um, they need to kind of revamp their image. So they're, they're giving him a very warm welcome. He also had uh, dinner with uh, the director of uh, the chairman of CATL, uh, Zheng Yukun. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of flattery, somebody mentioning about, you know, you'd make a fine president of the United States, et cetera. Uh, but, I mean, it, it coincides um, not only, it, it shows just how linked China and the U.S. are. Um, you know, if you if you look at the April figures for the trade deficit, it expanded. They were thinking be mid 70s. It went up to 90 versus 43, and all talking billions uh, last year. This uh, the same period. Um, you know, the, it's very hard. They keep talking about um, how they're going to uh, separate and things like that. And mm -hmm. now they're using different words, but it's the same thing: de-risking and uh, decoupling. It's hard to know exactly where one stops and the other begins. So, but there is a tremendous number of, of businesses here in China. There's a thousand that are represented by Amcham, which was in Washington last week doing a door knock, mm -hmm. uh, representing their um, their interests there, and you know saying, look, you know we need to get things started. Uh, times are are tough, and um, China is a huge market for us. Do you think that Elon is somewhat uh, desperate for China to invest in Tesla, given? Uh, the plummeted uh, his plummeting stocks in Tesla following the decisions that he made regarding Twitter. Well, you know, we, we can never quite figure out what Elon is going to do next. Um, I think he's trying to shore up uh, his position in the Chinese market. I mean, he basically owned it at one time. Uh, now he has a tremendous number of competitors. Some are dropping out. Others are going ahead of him. So I, I think he's trying to see exactly what Beijing is willing to do. I think it's, it's a very opportune time for him. If there's some sort of announcement uh, that they're discussing something, that will certainly help his stock stock price. As I said, you know, China is the largest EV market in the world, and he does not want to miss out. All right, Anar Tengen, thank you so much for joining us here on Tier 2 World and sharing that information with us.